honour to be invited to this prestigious event hosted by industry commentator Kate Faulkner. And Kate, tonight is really to uh, disseminate your independent report into the private rented sector. And uh, just tell us the name of the report. So the report is Private Rental Sector and it's 360 degrees. Um, a lot of the reports last year were very tenant focused or focused on different elements of the market. And what I wanted to do was have a report that looked at it from everybody's angle. So we don't just look at tenant arrears, we look at landlord arrears. And we try and understand if we're going to change policies, we're going to introduce new things and mature the private rental sector, do we really understand the consequences for everybody? And is it going to help the excellence or might it damage some of it? What was it that really inspired you to come up with the report? Was it the lead up to the general election? Was it the negativity that we're seeing in the media? Did you feel that there needed to be a much more independent, impartial report that really sort of dug down into the issue? It was that, and it was also, there were all these numbers flying around, and you know I love my numbers, but even I was getting confused as to which ones are real and may, have I got stuff wrong and you know is retaliatory eviction is it really hundreds of thousands of people being affected by it so what I really wanted to do was to try and pull the report together from start to finish uh, on the private rental sector and I really wanted to understand um, are there bad landlords really lots of them and you know when you look at how uh, we're looking at rent controls, for example. Is that going to frighten off the institutional investors, which is one of the main reasons why we have such a lack of stock in this country today? We have 1% stock of institutional investors. Abroad, they have 20, 30, 40% of their housing yeah. stock as institutional investors. Uh, what if we frighten them away? How's that going to help tenants? And it was trying to really then understand if the new policies come in place, which are the ones that would work and which are the ones that actually, they're not the responsibility of the private rental sector. We're being looked to to replace social housing. But do you know what, Vanessa, the numbers don't add up. You, you just can't. In a landlord in London, you cannot provide social housing at a rate people can afford. And the MPs have got to understand they have to go somewhere else because yep. we can't do it. And it is time to build. Indeed. I 100% really agree. And your report actually came up with kind of 10 recommendations and what I really loved about your suggestions Kate was that they were actually relatively simple to implement and it showed that we actually do have quite a healthy private rented sector and just a few kind of tweaks here and there could really make all the difference for tenants and landlords. Absolutely and I think you were mentioning earlier about the sort of um, rhetoric that was around last year and it was very anti-landlord and very anti-letting agent and I know I work with the good guys in the industry but for me, it's the good guys that will help bring everybody else up to their level. And we don't necessarily need rules and regulations and to take up MPs' times. What we could do is sit around a table together. I know Shelter really well. I know lots of organisations that want something that letting agents and landlords are nervous of. But I also know letting agents and landlords well enough that they genuinely care about tenants as much as shelter do and as much as generation rent do. And if we actually sat around a table with the great people that we have, we can get things sorted. And probably a lot quicker than trying to get things through Parliament, which as we saw last year was a pretty tricky um, process. Yes, indeed. And I think the support that you've got here this oh. evening is absolutely wonderful. And I think it just really shows that the en industry can all collaborate together for the greater good of the sector. So I really commend you for a really great um, report tonight and bringing so many key stakeholders together because together we can work and, and actually improve things. Absolutely. And the report is a case of it. I've written the report and I'm quite good on structure but all the detailed stuff that got checked with the experts so to make sure that it was correct so yes I pulled a lot of it together but the report wouldn't be anywhere near the standard it was without all of the help that I've received and done graciously as well. Absolutely. Well Kate you are such an ambassador 
and advocate of the private rented sector and uh, thank you very much for inviting us here this no, evening pleasure. and thank you also for your report which we hope to make available to the uh, members of property tribes as well. I'll, I'll make sure that's in your inbox first thing tomorrow morning. Oh, thank, thank you so much. Thank well you done. very much as well. Cheers.